Hello and welcome to a Gamer Boy Productions tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to use the armatures in the game engine. Hopefully you already know how to use armatures, but if you don't here I'll just tell you what they are. Armatures are these little uh, bones that you apply inside a mesh uh, and they can are useful for uh, deforming the mesh such as if you create a uh, mesh of a body and you put in different uh, armature bones so you can uh, move the different parts without having to have every single uh, finger and every single part of the body separate uh, places. Okay, so let's just uh, start through here. Okay, first, you top, don't erase anything. Press space, add, and then down here right above Latisse is armature, or at least it should be there. View front, then go here, uh, right beside the x-axis mirror, just click x-ray, just so you can see your um, armature a lot better. Then press tab to go into edit mode, then um, select this little sphere here, you'll see that it's selected uh, because it'll turn uh, yellow. Now press E to extrude and Z so that it goes along the Z axis. Then move the little ball just a little below the square so it'll be easy, so the uh, armature is li easily selected. Okay. Now I'll just move this one a bit to Z. Okay. Now click on the object and go to add uh, go here in the editing buttons, F9, going to add modifier, then click armature. Go here down by OB, and by default, uh, your uh, default armature name is armature. So, uh, capital A, R, M, A, T, U, R, E. Armature, okay. And if, uh, and if you, uh, spell it incorrectly, then nothing will show up when you click enter. Okay. So now to, uh, the way that the armatures work is that you are supposed to select a few, um, vertices on your object, like these, and, uh, you, uh, select them to the bones, to the every different bone. Like, this is a, one of these is a bone. This is, like, one, this is one bone, this is another bone and each one of those will have uh, different vertices. Some people prefer to uh, just select the vertices and by groups. Uh, if you're using a higher uh, polygon mesh or uh, 300 faces, you probably don't want to do that. So here's an easier way, or at least I think it's easier. Uh, click the armature, go into pose mode, click the top armature, then hold down shift, and right click on the square. Let's try that again. I want both of them selected. Shift right click. Want to wait, paint. Okay, sorry. It worked uh, the first time. And then you'll see your object here. It will turn blue. Then what you should do is your uh, vertices are still there. You can't see them as well. So now just click on your object with the little paint tool. Click on the top four corners. Is um this is uh you're just painting on it's just like you're painting onto the vertices. And the vertices will turn red uh and that will tell you that you have selected and that the bone is uh, equipped to them. Okay, so now let's go into object mode. Click on your bo bone, view front, and then let's just rotate it. Rotate it while it's in the pose mode, by the way. There you can see our uh, mesh is moving around. Control Z. Okay. Um, then you would uh, go to the bottom one. Shift, hold down Shift and uh, click the cube again. I'm going to weight paint and paint the bottom bottom corners this time. Okay. Now. You front. Let's make sure that everything is painted. Okay. Now view front and uh, 
there you'll have your object. Uh, let's see. Yes, it works. So I Alt R. Alt R is to uh, clear all the object of rotations. Um, and Alt G is to clear it of uh, movement, so that it'll go back into its original space. Okay, so let's say we go into here. Most of you would know this. Now we're going to put down an animation. View front, then. AA while you're in pose mode, and then press I, and then go down to lock rot. And now go up to 15. Rotate this a bit. Rotate that a bit. Just so that they uh, end up like that. So, it doesn't matter if you have it exactly like that or not. Uh, this is just to create the actual... Um, uh, movement that your object will lose. Now A, to, uh, until they're both selected, click A so that they're both selected. Now press I, then go to lock rod while you're on frame 15. So now you can see if you're going, if you go forward through the frames by moving the arrow keys from side to side or uh, clicking the button down here that your object will move. Now go into the action editor and you'll see that this is your little action. Action editor is made for um, armatures, uh, and uh, you can have multiple actions. Like one action is to, uh, you know, let's say, a walk cycle, and then another one is so your um, your character picks up a weapon, some stuff like that. And then uh, by default, your first action is called action. Now just view buttons window. But now, I uh, hope most of you all, uh, are just watching for this, but if you were to press, let's say, keyboard, W, and uh, here, and then go to action editor, shift action, from 1 to 15, and then you press P, and you try to press W, nothing will happen. That is because uh, most of the times, if you forget to uh, parent the object to the armature, I did not know this, that you needed to parent it to the uh, armature to have it working in game engine. But here, just click on uh, the mesh, then pull down shift, and now click on the, the uh, armature. Do it in this order, though. Then you pull down control P armature, then these options will pop up and say don't create groups, because you've already made groups, which are your uh, vertex groups that you've made in the weight painting section of this. Then you'll go back into your uh, mesh, and here you, say, you see it has an armature parent deform, and then you have your actual armature that we signed. Let's just go and get rid of this. If you have a higher, uh, higher polygon mesh, you'll see why we want to uh, get rid of this. Sometimes so when you have both of them on, it'll uh, make your, um, it'll mess up your entire object. It'll look we really weird. Uh, here to press P. As you can see, our object moves. Uh, let's go, and I'll show you a few more options. Let's go into play. Then you know that play is when you press W. It just happens, and every time you press W, the same animation will happen. Then if you press P, and then it's out on flipper, then you hold it down, and once you let go, it goes backwards. Um, loop stop is so that is it keeps on looping, and then when you uh, let go of the button, it'll just hold, stay at that frame, and then loop end is just, uh, it goes, and it doesn't stay at that frame. It just ends the animation as soon as you let go. Um, okay, I, well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I uh, hope uh, you see how this can be uh, properly used in the game engine. And uh, this is Gamer Boy signing off.